All right, okay, so today we're going to be talking about our specialty at the roofing portal, which is tracking down the leaks that you guys, I'm talking, I'm pointing you other roofers here, can't find. So um, we're going to do a little bit of a story, or well, Mason's going to go into a story about a recent leak that we've been to. How many times have we been to it, Mason? Uh, I think just once or twice. So once or twice, which is, that's, um, that's good. Sometimes it can be three, four, uh, but our, our thing here is that we don't give up until we actually get that leak. Yeah. So, Mason, why don't you go into a story about what was the name of that job again? Yeah, uh, in Linfield. The Linfield. Oh, yeah, it was a, so just a. It's a bit tricky, so you take. It was a little bit tricky. Um, so basically, when I got there, the it was leaking off an extension in the middle of basically the ceiling, and I could not uh, pinpoint uh, where it was coming from. <laughs> but yeah, I had ended up getting. Uh, getting a hose off the guy and uh, spraying the roof. So you the first, like when you first went there, what was your like first, like, did you, what were the checklists you were going through first? Like, oh, everything. I went up there and it's in the, when you, when you see a leak in the middle of a corrugated roof, say, and you, you're looking going, hmm, why is it leaking in the middle of the roof? And you're looking around going like, what, what, what possibly can be leaking here? Mm -hmm. Not much. What would your first like? So, what's your first kind of go-to? Like for me on a corrugate roof, I probably look for the pitch. Oh. I'm gonna check. Yeah, the pitch, the the, the, the pressure it. seal at the yeah. back of the apron too, yeah. just because also because of the extension, you're not too sure what how it's been built underneath and all that. But yeah. so so yeah. usually for me, I have a checklist that I go through in my mind. I'll go, I'll I'll first things first. I measure out exactly where the leak is because I don't want to be looking at. You know, you can get lost up there. You go on the, you can be in the house and then you come out on the roof and you're looking over here and it's two meters that way. So I like to work out exactly where it is. Then I come up and it's just process of elimination for me. So number one, probably with a corrugate, I'm going pitch. So I check the pitch. As long as it's more than five degrees, uh, then, I'll, then I'm gonna check for spreader. Yeah. Uh, if the spreader's coming out right on a lap, that's generally a, a problem for me. I'll go down to the gutter and check Depending where the leak is, if it's in the middle roof, not so much, but I'll check to see if there's wool in the gutter, whether that's wicking it back up. Uh, another thing with the lap is on the lap, there could be wool just sitting on the lap and that could pull it across. So for me, I've got a process of just it's experience like a, with the like a process of elimination, past. really, yeah. but it's not without, yeah. yeah you just, you just kind of go through everything slowly, working your way up through your list of, okay, it's not that, it's not that. The obvious ones, but is there a window? Is there a, and just, Slowly going through it, so that's kind of. So you went there. You went. You did oh, I checked everything. I checked every. I checked the corners of the apron, the barges. I checked under the sheets to make sure there was turn ups. Yeah. I checked the lap. Looked at the lap. I didn't didn't see anything that I was too like. Yeah, that's definitely leaking there. Yeah. Um, and basically, yeah, I did see some twigs growing out of the spreader. Okay. So, so me going, me going like <laughs> after I'd already spent half an hour with a hose squirting everything the windows the uh, the pressure seal just going at even the lap up the sheets to see if i could get something just to see anything yeah and um yeah you couldn't i couldn't find no, no water come in from anywhere i sat there with the hose no water come in from anywhere i sat there on the corner of the apron i sat there yeah windows everything nothing okay. and then yeah as i said i could see the twigs growing out of the um spreader yeah but me going oh i'll just i'll just I'll just grab those out. That should be fine. No, it's not. It, no, it's not coming from the top, surely. So but I also checked the top. The top had a queer gutter. Was it, yeah, it was it's a, top it, that had a box gutter. That top, box gutter, which yeah. is generally not a good sign. No, especially when you got when you got the eave. That, the, when you got the downpipe that runs through the eave. Yeah. It wasn't. Um, yeah, it wasn't crash hot. But at the same time, I checked the seals around the nozzle and all that, and it wasn't that bad. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, I kind of was like, ah. Oh, <laughs> Look, mate, we'll just wait till it rains again and um, we'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, then we had Jack uh, go over there to see if he could Jack's get the, to the, the bottom of it. The and he went above and beyond and ripped off everything and done everything and pulled it apart. Pulled it, it apart. A investigation that Jack tends to do. He's very yeah. stubborn when it comes to leaks. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he will sit there for an hour or two. 